Are you ready for the journey of your life? <laughs> so let's go, yeah. in the garage this has been running all the weekend at uh, low speed in theory but we will see yeah and low speed and now it's 70 degrees but actually it's not that cold i mean it's cold but it's not cold la like uh, last week so that's nice and later on i'm gonna put the the cannon the war warm cannon so yeah that's and uh, my neck problem now it's good but <laughs> the thing is that now i took from the back uh, from my neck it's just going lower and now it's in my shoulder and here and that's what i feel now all the time so it's just the cold i know that it's the cold but it's annoying and uh yeah now i have like this patch that you can put on your clothes like on top of your clothes and it gives you warm for like 12 hours or something like that so that's why i keep moving because this morning when i wake up i couldn't move again <laughs> so yeah uh let's just start now for with uh, computer work get some tea still uh, uh yeah do some tea computer work and when I'm done with that, uh, ordering the parts, then I will start with the Norton. I will put it here on the bench and uh, take all the Norton parts uh, uh, apart and then uh, see, see if I can still use some things or not. And <coughs> yeah, then uh, I think tomorrow also First, I need to send an email to the company, but I think tomorrow I will send it, or today, tomorrow, or after tomorrow, I will send it to sand blasting and powder coating. So yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Time to bring this to Frank and pick up all the stuff. So, yeah, yeah, you will see. Let's step by step. Okay, this one we put this one out of the press with a with a hydraulic uh, press. We put those out from the Norton Commando. Why I didn't do it by hand? Because um, it got old and it was stuck. Like so, I was like, ah, I will not even try, you know, because I push it, I feel it, and I was like, okay, you know. <laughs> and the funny thing is that actually. They are all wear down, like pretty wear down, but there is this one. It looks like brand new, only the rubber is not good anymore. So this is not rusty, but the rubber is not good anymore. And I have another one that I just found in the car and uh, I couldn't find it, but the same video. So yeah, here I have right now the bushes for, for that one. So now in theory, I should be able to put the, um, the rear shocks. So let's do that and let's see, then I have here, let's try to show it. This is the other side of the um, unit engine I'm making for the bobber, for that one over there. And um, yeah, I was measuring this one because I thought it was oval, but it's not, so that's good. Uh, but on the other side, the crankcase, Last time I put it all together, I was checking and I'm like, Fuck. it had to play. So actually at the end of 
let's see, of the crankcase has play. It should be like one, one eight, one, uh, how you say, one, one eighty, I think, one eighth, yeah, and um, it isn't, it's just, it's like zero point, uh, zero two smaller, so actually it's loose in the bearing and that's not good at all. So uh, now Frank is gonna make this uh, bush, so it's gonna take some material out, put a bush, um, and then uh, that it's proper in the size. Oh, that's one thing, and then on the other side, in this side, let's see. No, in the other cover, what is the timing? Um, there is this uh, pen in the middle for uh, for the gears and that one in that case is loose so tomorrow morning i'm gonna take that pin bring it to frank and then he's gonna fix it it's gonna make a new bush in it so so open it uh, drill it to the size uh, make an alum aluminum spacer in it and then no not really to the size but oversize put a spacer in it and then the yeah the thing i don't know how to say it yeah <laughs> but uh so yeah that 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 and yeah now the the other crankcase from the other visa it's ready so i think i can pick up everything but i'm just missing oh and the cylinder head from the from the royal is finished too so i'm gonna pick it up everything uh the only thing is now i need to send the last bills and then when they get it paid then i can pick it up so let's go right now <coughs> she's looking good uh the only problem well one of the things that i found is that yeah the, the balls i need to find them because i have no bolt for this bike so i got a box literally like a box with all kinds of bolts and nuts they are all stainless steel or most of them and uh, i need just to search you know search a, a new one so search for the one who must fit in the place that i need so yeah okay i'm missing here spacers i need to space to make a little spacer for here so the the shocks are actually straight and not like they are right now because right now they are a little bit yeah going to the outside i don't know how to explain it but it looks weird that's one and then uh the nuts nuts and bolts for here da, da, da. and then yeah then i need to check for the for the tire but i really like it she looks really really sexy and uh, i can't wait to see this one making noise so yeah nice okay tomorrow more and uh, yeah it hasn't been a really long day today it was actually a short day but um, still even though it has been a good day so let's go there we go another day but today is not that cold in here inside as you can hear the ventilator has been all night running so it's good to go at least as a temperature still i need to put the the flamethrower i don't know how to call it in english but uh yeah so let's get some tea some warm tea and then uh, start with the day yeah let's go Okay, so right now, uh, let's see, next thing, right now, I was on the computer, I still need to send the email. I need to make pictures also of all the parts from the Norton. And, um, yeah, because the, I'm gonna ask how much it's gonna cost to chrome all this. Now I need to gather all the, the little parts that I know that I, that I want to let them chrome and then, uh, yeah, then send that, uh, send the email. Okay, so there we goes. As you saw in the pictures, I got, I got everything in parts. 
<sighs> yes, this is only for powder coating. Then uh, this, all oh, this is for chroming, but um, this is damaged. This one is damaged. Somebody did something here, some kind of repair or tried to repair it. But uh, still, I was checking and it's actually a little bit off. So um, I'm gonna try to find a second hand one. And actually, I'm gonna try to find second hand of all of it. This one and this one too. This one I might even buy it new because it's not that expensive. And uh, this one's. If I cannot find a good second hand, then I will chrome it. But I think it's gonna be way more expensive to chrome only this than the part itself. So. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see. So, I got the parts for the Norton, the 850. Voila. Uh, yeah. So, a brand new uh, stainless steel fender, rear fender. So, it's looking really, really nice. I like it a lot. <coughs> Here are the rubbers and, uh, yeah, the, the other little things. But, um, right now, as you saw lately this week, and last week, I'm uh, a lot of computing. Why? Because the, the projects like the 850 and so, uh, or this one, all the parts I need to search them. And it takes quite a lot of time. It's not like click, 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 oh, I'm done, you know? And uh, for instance, for the powder coating, I need to call like different companies and blah, blah, blah. Now I have this one here, but I still, I need to, I need to send an email, ask for the price, let, let, them, let them know uh, that I want to bring the parts and they need to tell me when I can do that and blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot of... So, yeah, yeah. I like more when you, you just go there and you just drop a pie and you say, hey, here, up, up again, let's go, you know? <laughs> but uh, it doesn't work like that, uh, at least uh, no in all the companies. So, yeah, now I still need to put a few hours uh, in the computer, but uh, yeah, then I like to finish that, all the computer work, so tomorrow I can just do some work, like proper work, you know, mechanic work. So, <coughs> uh, right now I'm going, I need to do, yeah, the ordering for this one and for, for that one, for the engines because I, uh, I'm gonna make both, both of them, this one and this one. So, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm done for today. Now it's uh, 3.30 here. Uh, I'm done in the garage, but I still need to work behind the computer. I think I will be working until five or six. And then uh, tonight I have a competition bow, bow competition, so yeah. But hopefully tomorrow I can make this one run. That's the idea. So, okay, tomorrow more. Let's go. For today, let's start the day picking up parts. Right now, I took all this from the velo and I'm gonna try to grind them because, yeah, yeah like chef, it should be a little bit uh, grinded, just clean up. Even before I buy <coughs> a new one, uh, this one is still good. Only it has like in, in on top of it, just a little bit unround and I want that it's round. So I'm gonna ask to the company if they can make that. That's one. Then um, uh, the cam, uh, cam, cam followers, those must be reshaped too, a little bit. And then uh, the rockers. The rockers are uh, are damaged in the middle, and they are unround. But the material is still pretty hard, so I think I'm gonna grind them too to uh, oversize, like a little bit smaller. And then the rocker dexel. Then um, I'm gonna make the holes again proper. Because I couldn't find any and I want to have that engine done. So yeah, that's the only way. Uh, actually, it was a really nice tip. They gave it to me last last um, last week. 
normally I don't do this type of things, but uh, in this case, yeah, I cannot find any other solution because there, is no, there are no parts available. So, yes, yeah, it is what it is. So, let's go. So finally back into the garage and uh, <coughs> let's see the cam followers uh, they stay there the rocker arms that I think I said the rockers in the previous video but I mean the rocker arms they stay there too but the uh, can shaft not, they couldn't fix this one, so I will need to fix it myself. <coughs> and uh, let's see, now I got back the, the crankcase from the uh, BSA, the cylinder head of the Royal Enfield, and the two crankcase from the Norton 850 and 750. So, Happy to see that because uh, that means that I can move on with the Royal and uh, blah, blah, blah. So just let's go. Yeah, first have some food, some tea, and uh, then uh, get at it. Yeah, finally. So now I got some food in my belly, so let's uh, rock and roll. So I'm really happy. Why? Because I got the parts for this one. So yeah, British only. Yeah, in Austria. Thank you. Yeah, because it has been a really fast um, uh, delivery. Yeah, like really fast. Normally it takes a little bit longer, but now it was like two days. I think no. Yeah, two days. I think so. Two days. Two days or so. So fuck yeah. That's perfect. So that means that I can, if I have time today, even work on this one. So I'm happy, I'm happy. Yeah. So voila, voila. Now back to the Norton. Uh, right now, let's see. This one is too little. It's the one that the owner had on the bike. And uh, yeah, it just, it will not work for, for the new parts and for it actually what, uh, but it's coming out of the carburetor. This one is too small, this is six, and everything but I have is eight, but the pipes, uh, let's see, this one is six, wait, yeah. It works good for here, but not for the rest. So I need to buy new pipes from eight, and uh, this one too, from eight, and then, da, 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 and then I think I'm good to go to put everything together, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yes, let's go. Are you ready for the journey of your life? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so many pipes here and there, it's crazy. Like, yeah. But I got it and actually I needed to use some of the six that I had because even though the, the pipe, the, the piece of plastic that I got the connection for the gasoline, I got this eight. It fits better in a six pipe than in a eight. In a eight is way too loose. And then I need to use those um, brackets. No, no brackets, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So I need to use the, the clamps, that's it, the clamps. And um, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, so at the end, yeah, now it's, yeah, it's a spaghetti, yeah. So, okay, this one, at the other side too, yes. Then it goes into the middle. Wait. Then it goes into the middle. To the 
gasoline filter, from the gasoline filter to the carburetor. So voila, and then you have the breather of the, the overflow output from the carburetors. It's coming from here, and it goes there. Why I put it there? Yeah, I couldn't find uh, another place. I wanted to put it to the right side, but uh, <coughs> I have no space to put it. So I was like, okay, I'll leave it like this. Anyways, it just, if someday the carburetor is overflowed or so, so, yeah. So yeah, let's see the moment of the truth. Let's see. And now it's leaking everywhere, I guess. The moment, nothing, okay. No, the other one. Come on, up. Let's wait and see. Let's see if the gasoline filter is getting gas. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. No, but. Yeah, it's full with gasoline now. And it's not leaking. Wow, that's that's amazing. That's uh Oh my God. I ah, know, you see? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's put a uh, clamp there and then uh, try again. Okay. I'm done for today right now let's see this one should go here like this but, but yeah this is not original and I don't want to drill this one because this is brand new original from the Norton so I'm waiting now for the answer of the owner but I think the best way to go is just to make a plate that it goes from here to here and then this one mounted in there and that's it and then you can always take this one and put the original uh, the original um, mounting on and that's it yeah so let's wait for the answer now it's time to go home and uh, i'm not done yet with work first i'm gonna get some food and then i need to do some computer work again so uh, yeah just yes, yes has been a good day actually a really nice one so well uh, i got the package for the for the exhaust so that means that today i can put everything together so nice let's go So right now, <clears throat> this one now is in place, and yeah, I I would actually put it higher, but this fender is brand new and it's original. So I will, I'm not, I'm not gonna drill holes in it just to fix this one because that one is not original. So I'm I'm not 100% sure what actually the owner wants us if he wants to keep it original originally or not so in the meantime i put it like this so it's a quick fix and uh, you can always take it out and put the, the original one or 
you can put uh, an aftermarket and make it more sporty and yeah but right now yeah i said to him like i made it like this so you can in the meantime decide what you want to do but already it's that work is already done so um, let's uh, let's go now with the um, with exhaust <coughs> so i need to weld this one to here then grind this make it uh, look nice polish it clean up this one too and then here i just need to have the bracket and that's all so yeah oh yeah and i need to put the bracket here for the to to fix it so i think yeah i think this or this but i'm still waiting for the answer of the owner but anyways i'm seeing that this one would not work like if i want to put it even higher i think let's see well it can go yeah kind of but then goes out okay 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 so yes let's fix this one already here because anyways you cannot play that much with this one so yeah that and then uh, move on with the rest the left left one and here is the right one Opa. So, yeah now they are good to go but before I going to install it I'm gonna have a little break some food and um, yeah and then move on because now I'm getting tired and when I'm getting tired yeah that means I need gasoline too <laughs> Next thing on the Norton because right now, yeah, I don't get any answer from the owner for the exhaust, so no wasting my time. I'm moving now to the to the rear uh, to the rear to the brake on the front brake. So let's take this one out, disconnect everything, take it apart, put it all back together, take the air out, so drain it and blah 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 blah, and then uh, hopefully then I will have the answer. Yeah. We will see but um yeah yeah there we go it looks like this right now but it can go like this or let's see oh like this so here or here big difference so yeah let's wait and see Okay, so this is the piston and uh, it's looking really rough. So let's see if I can save it. Otherwise I will need to order a new one. Yeah. So all back together. Let's see, yeah. So, yeah, let's put it back on the motorcycle and, uh, yeah, get it ready. So, as you can hear on the <clears throat> on the previous video um, the pistons I think they have a little bit of air or so and they still they, they are like this and you should go all the way open so yeah let's try to fix that and uh, and then go with exhaust yes <laughs> So now I found found out something else. I was breaking, and uh, I saw it just immediately like boom. 
yeah so it's leaking and quite a lot actually so um, yeah i'm gonna speak with the owner let's see what he wants to do about it that's one and then it feels like but i'm not sure so now i'm gonna do a test and i'm gonna leave it for a while um i think that the seals from here from the pistons are leaking i'm not sure 100 percent, but i need to test it yeah because when you press hard then i saw like one line coming out and i don't know if it's because of the oil from the from from here or it just when i open it a little bit went off so i clean now everything and i'm gonna do it again and let's see here yeah. and tonight i will leave it i will leave this lever like this with pressure on so it build up pressure and if it's any leaking tomorrow i'm going to see it so yeah okay now in the meantime uh, now i finally got an answer from this so um he actually wanted a high like this and then um, now i need to make a spacer with a thread in it so i can put a, th um, a, a bolt from the other side and then i can lock it in place bam that's that's the idea maybe i'm just gonna use a pipe and a nut and just weld it together let's see but it must look nice because it's in a yeah it's in a spot that you really can see it so let's make something The welding is done, so that's nice. This one too. So looking good, looking good. And now I need to fix it in here, and then and we are good to go. Hopefully, let's see. Pop, pop, pop. Then this one in there should go somewhere there still need to fix it of course but let's see from behind yep it's looking good i fucking love it okay let's go for the second one so let's go yeah okay so there we goes let's see I feel like the right one is still a little bit uh, low, but uh, it's loose anyway, so it can go, as you can see, oh, no, oh, oh, so higher, yeah, so I can play still a little bit, but uh, looking nice, yes, and um, now I'm missing the, the clamp for here and the other side, I don't have them, so yeah i'm gonna check now if i can find them here in the neighborhood and otherwise internet and um, yeah yeah i think right now uh the next thing that i'm going to do on this one is just take this because for to take this this bolt this bolt out i need to lose this one and this one and maybe this one too just to take this one out so I'm going to do that, then take the motorcycle to the side, leave it there and uh, open this one and check the, ch change the, the plates. Yeah, I think so. I still, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So let's do that and uh, move on, move, move on, move, move, move on, move, 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 move on. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. That was a quick fix. Actually, I I didn't need to lose this one <coughs> because I was checking, and uh, yeah, the springs on this one were way too tight. So if you put it low in the on the floor, it doesn't move at all. But I was like, hey, wait, it's in the maximum. But if I put it in the lower, 
I think I just, just jump a little, I can take the, the bolts off. And it was exactly that. So yeah, happy to, to find out this little uh, trick. So voila, that's done. Now let's put the bike to the side and um, clean up and then take the other one. Yes, let's go. There we go, another day not at the garage. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> uh, today I want to start the day doing the computer work, but uh, I wanted to do it in the garage, but it's so cold there. I was like, okay, just stay here, finish quick uh, what uh, I need to finish, and then move on with the IGS and the Royal Field. That's the plan for today. Let's see how it goes. So let's go. So back into the freezer. Ha! It's so fucking cold again. I need to buy some more gas for the um, for the burner there, but uh, <coughs> I need to wait. So yes, now I only have this air, and uh, yes, okay. So okay, I'm back here now. So let's get to it. Let's take the clutch. Um, let's open the clutch and then. Uh, put everything back together and I will not be able to test it because of the all the eyes that I that I have there maybe I don't know maybe I can push the uh, motorcycle but mm -hmm, I prefer to wait like one or two days and hopefully it gets warmer and then everything is gone and it's safe to ride then, then to push it and have an accident also so the plan for today is the ayers the clutch and the cylinder head from the um, from the Royal Enfield. So let's go. Okay, I don't know how long it took the oi, the time lap, but uh, yeah, the phone just died. So <laughs> I don't know how long actually it did film. I need to check check it. Anyways, okay, this lady. What I found out, well, now finally works how it should and I can do it properly, okay? It's not like I'm doing like, ah, okay? So that's, uh, that's a big difference, that's, that's one. Uh, okay, I thought it was Clement on the other side, this side, so I opened the gearbox. Yes, the oil is everywhere, it's a big, big mess, but Okay, I thought that this one was uh, clamped, like it was clamped there, in, underneath, but it wasn't. So that's, that, yeah, that wasn't. So I was like, okay, well, next thing, I don't know, the cable, I checked the cable. The cable is all loose and, and proper. I found it a little bit too long, so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter, that's one. But actually, what I found out is two things, and uh, one, I know that I cannot repair it, so I managed to fix it. Uh, I think that the main, uh, how do you say that in English now? Uh, the main, the main shaft, uh, yeah, from the gearbox, is a little twisted. Yeah, like just a tiny bit because I took the bar out and I check it, and it's perfectly straight. So I put it in the in the lathe and uh, I clean it up, I check, and it's not moving, nothing is. But once I put it in, half the way, it goes like, click, and then, ah, then it's loose. But then if you push it, because it's pushing all the time this way, it's stuck kind of in the half, half of the way. So I make the, 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 the stuff that is going into the middle. I, I took uh, like 0 0.1 or so out of it, and now it's loose, and now, now it's, going well so voila problem solved but um yeah i never had that before so first time for everything let's go okay so let's put everything back together and um yeah fill up the all here and there and then uh put it to the side yeah because i think that wasn't with this one oh yeah the the um, those i need to change to change them 
but um, the taps, taps I think was the gasoline taps I think, and um, yeah, I need to change them because they are not good anymore, even though they are brand new. Aftermarket parts. So yes, um, I need to change them. I ordered them already, but I didn't get it. So voila, uh, get them yet. So hopefully next week or so. But uh, at least this is already fixed, and then yeah, then I can test test right, and hopefully I'm done with it. I can wait for that. So yes, yes, let's get everything back together and check that now everything is connected because the phone wasn't connected that's why it did die so voila okay so Something else that I found on the way to closing the gearbox. So, right now, there we go. Okay, so this one here, it was leaking. So I pulled it out and I saw that it was actually pretty hard. So I changed it, that's one. Then I had troubles with one of the screws here. The thread and everything is fine, but I don't know, I clean it up and everything and uh, any any of the the screws that I had, that I took here out, it wasn't fitted in. It was like, what the hell? And normally what's happened is that the, the gasket gets into the thread. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it gets into the thread and then you cannot put the screw in because uh, it's back pressure. So you are trying to put the screw, you know? But no, no, uh, the hole was clean and... Uh, just didn't want to fit it. But at the end, I, uh, I put this one. That is actually um, another uh, thread, like uh, a little bit uh, rough. And uh, it just went all the way in, like, perfect. So, I don't know, the mysteries of a British motorcycle. So yeah, okay. Right now, I still need to make the cable shorter and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday here. So, oh, now I see something else. What is this? Oh, nice, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, tomorrow it's going to be Saturday. Normally, I said before, I'm not going to work on a, on a client's motorcycles, but right now, uh, because next year is coming a really big, big thing. Uh, I changed my mind about that and I'm gonna do it 50-50. Like in the morning, at least two or three hours I'm going to put uh, for, uh, for the client's motorcycles. Not every weekend, but if I feel like it, I will do it. And I feel like it to do it tomorrow, so voila. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show it in this video because I know uh, I need to check how long it's gonna take this week So I might show it in the middle of the week next week. So when it is Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Thursday kind of so we will see maybe maybe so For if this video doesn't get longer see you next week <laughs> Okay so, yes, let's go home, have some food, and uh, tomorrow another day. Yes. Come on. Oh, no. So, he wanted to have it high, so that means that I need to fabricate a spacer that I can weld on here with a thread so I can put it from here and just lock it there. Bam. And that's it. Wait, I'm not filming. The the ca the cables the 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 rocker dexo. I think. Uh, yeah, 